everyone and welcome this is Melissa from cureendometriosis.com sorry it's a bit noisy I'm outside in our new garden and because of the Olympics I think they've just got a lot of planes going over our house at the moment uh, but what I wanted to talk to you about today is bloating um, now with endometriosis it's quite common that we have bloating and I've actually discovered that my bloating has gone down substantially since I cut out gluten from my diet. I used to have a lot of bloating so I used to have this sort of permanent kind of big tummy uh, and you know I just it didn't matter what I did I just had this permanent tummy and um, since cutting out gluten I don't actually have a tummy anymore which is really nice because I can wear you know dresses and I can wear tops that actually are reasonably tight fitting and I don't have to feel conscious about my stomach so that was sort of my experience um, so I think part of the bloating is our digestion so if you've got bloating I would highly recommend looking at what you're eating and looking at your diet um, gluten is a massive one for endometriosis um, what gluten actually does is it almost um, acts like cement in in our bowels so if you imagine in our bowels we've actually got these little um, you know like feelers that come out and they actually work like they try and absorb the nutrients from the food that we eat now when you eat gluten or a lot of gluten they actually break off and those little feelers become really short so it becomes really hard for them to absorb nutrients um, they actually have all sorts of terms for this like there's um, scenarios where it actually develops into something more serious called the leaky gut syndrome um, and obviously you know gluten contains wheat which um, is going to feed candida which has also been linked very closely to endometriosis so all in all it is partly our digestion so we want to really look at our digestion as our first point of call however um, bloating can also be caused by our hormones um, when um, we have a lot of estrogen in our bodies which is quite common with endometriosis um, we basically have estrogen dominance and I'll, I'll put a, an article about exactly what that is um, and that causes water retention so water retention is going to make us feel bloated um, with water retention you'll actually notice some other symptoms to go with it um, one of them being that you need to pee <laughs> a lot um, others being that when you do pee you still don't feel quite empty um, you um, might feel thirsty a lot so you know and you know you might get swollen ankles that's you know pretty usually that's a pretty severe case of water retention um, but yeah so um, those those are the two major ones that I have found on bloating obviously there's there's lots of other things that will cause bloating but um, to me the biggest one is actually digestion and a lot of us tend to focus more on the hormone side um, but if you focus on digestion what actually will happen is you will flush out the excess hormones in your body naturally so I've personally always found that you know sort of mucking with hormones can be quite dangerous so I prefer to rather look at letting the body decide what it needs so if you increase your roughage in your diet and you have a lot of fiber in your diet and you really look after your bowels then they will naturally flush out any excess um, estrogen that you have in your body so that'll just regulate itself all by itself so you don't need to get involved in that obviously there's you know different scenarios and things like that but I would strongly recommend that you focus on your digestion first and foremost and then look at the hormone side okay so those are my two thoughts on um, what causes bloating and uh, I hope that helps if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.